Hey guys, the next card I'm going to be talking about is Gataxin Probe. Gataxin Probe, one of the better cards I've ever speculated on. I purchased 18 of them at Groovy Geckos in Virginia for $0.05 cents a piece. So that costs $0.90 cents for cards that are now worth more than $0.90 cents a piece. And Gataxin Probe, back in the day, so you have to understand about Gataxin Probe, the reason it's going to be expensive, and I don't mind holding 18 of them, and if I put them in my trade binder, they will immediately go out of the trade binder, just like Dragon Speaker Shaman and a lot of these other cards I'm showing you today. Not only are they kind of valuable cards, more valuable than in the past, they are also extremely liquid cards. And that's what I value the most of any card speculation I've done is, if I'm motivated, can I move this card? So to me, I'm not doing a good job if I'm not actually moving the card. It's nice that I have like 100 abrupt decays, but if I don't do anything, kind of like what happened with me and Jace AOT and a price plummets because of a reprint or something like XYZ, there's so many different reasons a card can go down in price. It could be even be banned in a worst case scenario, like birthing pod you would have to be like, hmm, you take some time and look at it and say, okay, I got to get rid of it. But this card, I'm willing to hold this card. I'm willing to make a bet on this card. I have either nine or five foils. I have them a play set of foils in my deck, my modern deck, uh, the promo foils. I have a original foil in my tiny leader deck. And I had four original foils in addition to the one in Tiny Leader, so five total in my Legacy deck. But I don't know if I sold the Legacy deck. I took the Legacy deck apart and I'm looking for it, but storage got like really hot. My storage has air conditioning, but like if you open the door after like half an hour, like it gets really hot because like Texas, it's over 90 degrees. Every day is over 90 degrees, definitely. Uh, at noon time, it'll be like 95 degrees. So good taxi probe, definitely one of my belly speculations. I purchased them for five cents at Groovy Geckos. <laughs> 18 of them, probably more. Like if I really consider how many I purchased at Groovy Geckos, I would probably say like way more than 18 because I know I traded some away before the recent price spike. But it was not reprinted. But does that mean it could be banned? Maybe. I mean, there's always danger. So like even if a card doesn't get reprinted, it could be banned. And the price could be the reason it's not reprinted is because it got banned. It's set to be banned. So good taxing probe, definitely a card that I, I mean, I have a ton of them, probably more than 18 if I look really hard. And I just don't know if it's time to trade them away. I feel like the decision is to hold on to them and then hope that they don't get banned. Because it's not going to get reprinted anytime soon. It's Phyrexia Manor. And that's hard to reprint outside of Modern Masters. Like even a, a Commander deck, I don't know if you would reprint it. Because a lot of new players play Commander. And it's a harder concept to understand. So anyway, Gitaxin Probe, one of my better speculations. Obviously, it's no Dragon Speaker Shaman. But that being said, five cents for <laughs> this card right now is what I used to pay for it. I paid for it. Four years ago, I paid five cents for this card because it was so common. My store had so many of them. And actually, the card that was the most expensive was Mental Misstep before it was banned. That was like a dollar or two, but the Taxi Probe was always like a quarter or 25 cents, which is a quarter. <laughs> it is four o'clock in the morning. Good night, my baby lions.